Um, it's me, Katie, and I have my personal horse, Joe, with me today. Um, we haven't done a video with her in a while. She's kind of healing from an abscess, so she's still a little bit off, so don't be alarmed. Um, but she's still capable of doing some light work. But I just wanted to kind of give you guys the opportunity to see me kind of work a horse under saddle. I'm not going to do a whole lot of talking on this one because it's going to be hard for you guys to hear me. Um, I know I've been doing a lot of groundwork videos, so I just wanted to kind of give you guys the opportunity to see um, kind of how I work a horse under saddle, the exercises I use and whatnot. Um, Joe's kind of at the point now where I'm just kind of, um, she's um, pretty quiet under saddle, walk track canter, you know, she's got the consistent gait. She's not trying to take off with me. Um, so now we're at the point where we're isolating each section of her body and kind of softening it, suppling it, and just getting her a bit more responsive. Um, I've kind of taken things a lot slower with her because I don't really have, um, you know, I'm not showing her this year. So I kind of have a whole, a whole lot of time to kind of take my time and do things kind of slower which I generally like to do anyway. Um, so right now, um, we're working on um, neck softening, her shoulder and her hindquarters, um, and also her pole. Um, so the first thing I do when I get on is I always flex them from side to side. So you just pick up and you just flex them back and forth. Now, my kind of pet peeve with her is I want her to be softer this way so that's kind of um, one of my goals with her is to just get her overall softer um, so I do a bunch of flexing you know I incorporate it into you know a, every time I stop her I flex her basically um, and then we're also adding in the pole control so that's going to be um, the vertical flexion so you're going to pick up on both reins kind of ask her to give to the bit and soften. <clears throat> so she kind of puts her head a bit lower than I would like, but it's only really the second or third day I've been working on this. So um, I'm not really worried too much about it because we can always correct it later. My main goal is for her to just learn that if she feels pressure to give to it instead of fighting it. Um, and then we're also working on um, shoulder control so that would be like a churn on the hindquarters or like a spin um, we're just going literally one step at a time right now like I said I have a whole lot of time and I want to do do it really good the first time and then that way I don't have to go back and fix things so I'm literally just asking for one one step one step and whoa one step and whoa um, so I'll show you guys that just kind of pick up on them, close your outside leg, and I kiss. Another thing I like to take it really slow is to make sure that they're still listening to me. You know, I like them to take a step, I say whoa, and they know that that means they need to stand still. Um, you know, a lot of horses start to fidget and they want to walk off, but um, that's another good thing with going so slow is that you can, can really control where your horse is putting their feet. Um, so then the last portion is hind quarter control. So I like to just walk them in a circle and then disengage their hindquarters to a stop. So kind of like this.
So hind quarter control is super important for when you want to start um, lead departures, um, lead changes, that sort of thing. Um, it's kind of a forgotten about body part, but it's very important to keep it soft, supple, and keep them responsive. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just kind of school her some and let you guys just kind of watch. If you guys have any questions, let me know. And again, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Thanks.